Good morning, everybody. We're near Valcourt, Quebec. We're going to grab our load today and start heading west, back towards home. You know, you think you clean everything in the evening before you go to bed so you can wake up and it's all nice and ready to go. And then the sun comes up and it just shows everything's full of dust again. I swear I have like a little goblin or something that comes out and just sprinkles dust on everything every night. So when I wake up, everything's dusting again. Crazy. You know what works good? Uh, cleaning your dash though. Uh, this can is pretty beat up already because it's been sitting beside my seat here. But this uh, bolt's not dashable. It's not an ad or anything, but this stuff works great. It leaves no streaks, at least that's what I've found. You just spray it right on your dash, you wipe it off, and it looks brand new. As you can see, I've had this in my truck a little while. It's been uh, bouncing around here a bit. Use it all the time. It works great. You can get it at most truck stops in the States, and it's slowly coming into Canada as well. Uh, I've seen it in, uh, I've seen it on the shelves in Canada too. And if they don't have it, you can always just say, hey, why don't you have it? I know the guys at Bull Snot. They're really good guys. It's a really good company, so you're supporting good people. And the stuff really works. Like I said, I'm not trying to do an ad or anything, but every morning I'm waking up and there's just dust all over the place. Even this thing doesn't really pick it all up. But uh, everything looks all nice and new. I don't have to look at yesterday's dust and yesterday's dirt. Believe me, today is going to have enough dirt all by itself. I don't need yesterday's dirt. Okay. I'm gonna run pick up this load. I hear it could take me a little while to get loaded. That's the rumors. I don't know if I always believe the rumors. Maybe I'll get loaded real quick. I gotta be there in an hour and I'm 20 minutes away. So I'm gonna head over there now. So I'm early because I don't exactly know where I've gotta go. I've never picked up here before. So uh, I want that extra time to be able to wander around a little bit and figure out what's going on and where I get loaded. It's a big place. I think so. I've looked on Google Earth and used Google Street View. I think I know which driveway to go in, but it might be the wrong one. And then at least if it's the wrong one, they can be like, hey, what are you doing here? This is the wrong one. You need to go over there. Then I can get out of there and go to the right one, and I'm still not late. Today's bugs on my windshield and I are off. We are loaded up, and we are in a rush. That's why I didn't film too much after I got loaded. I've got to get moving, and I've got to keep moving now. I have 500 meters. Karen? To the left on. Or 20 west more right now. Don't make me do it. Don't make me throw you out the window. I'll leave you here and come back and you don't even speak French. Or maybe you do. Probably, probably does, doesn't she? Probably does. We're just uh, merging on to uh, Quebec Freeway 20 here, Auto Route 20. We're gonna go around Montreal and then up through Ottawa, up Highway 17. Our first delivery is in Schreiber, Ontario, and our second one is in Thunder Bay, Ontario. I have to get them both done tomorrow. I don't have to have to. If I don't get Thunder Bay done tomorrow, the only thing is I'm gonna to have to wait until Monday then to deliver that. Unless if we can figure something else out where there's another driver in the area or something. The goal is to deliver it tomorrow. So we have got to hurry. I've got 1,600 kilometers or about 1,000 miles to my first drop. So I'm not going to quite make it there tonight yet, but i got to get as far as possible, as soon as possible, so that I can stop for my minimum eight hours and then get to the first drop, get nine nine of these pieces off. I have 24 pieces on my trailer. Nine of them off in Schreiber. And then I go and I get another five off in Thunder Bay. Continue on this road for 74 kilometers. And Thunder Bay is about another two and a half hours west of Schreiber yet. So there will be a lot of road footage. I didn't even have time to stop and scrub the bugs off the windshield this morning. I got the delivery uh, what time I need to be there. I called them to see if they were open Saturdays. They're not. So it's either Friday or it's Monday. I want it to be Friday. I took the road around the south side of Montreal. It 
it's got a toll when you get over the bridge on the west side of town. It's way better than having to deal with all the traffic in the city. I don't have time to waste on that today. So I don't know if I saved time by going around here, but at least I didn't have to deal with that traffic.
it or not, I got all the way from Salisbury, New Brunswick, near Moncton, all the way here to North Bay, stopping by Valcourt on the way to pick up this load. We made pretty good fuel economy. This is uh, Bay Truck Stop, Petropass. around the back here and then into the pumps on the other side of the building over there. Gotta make this quick. We're still in a rush. We're on schedule. The schedule is a rush. No time to waste. We're grabbing our juice and we're hitting the road. I'm at an eighth, uh, no, a little bit below a quarter of a tank. Gotta be quick. Every minute matters. Every minute. Hey, we're gonna be doing another one of these uh, giveaways, goodie, ba goodie bags or goodie boxes, goodie care packages from Howl's very soon. Keep your ears and your eyes peeled. And that'll be popping up in one of my videos soon. I'll let you know what you gotta do to get one. It'll be different than just emailing me like last time. This time you're gonna have to do something different to get one. It'll probably be a hat, maybe a shirt, a mug. We'll see what happens. Let's see if I can get one of these into your hands. But you gotta pay attention. It's the next day. I skipped a bunch. And we're gonna combine these two days into one. This trailer was loaded three high. All the way to the back here. I've already got my first two deliveries done. One was in Schreiber, Ontario. One was in Thunder Bay, Ontario. I'm here in Thunder Bay and I just barely made it. These guys are awesome. I called ahead and I asked really nicely and said, hey, I'm gonna be there at 4, 4.30. They're like, well, we go home at 4.30. I was like, oh, okay, well, that's cool. Well, is there any chance I would be able to get unloaded? I mean, if, if not, that's cool. I'll wait here till Monday, we can unload Monday. And you know, we went and talked to the guys in the back and they asked, you know, would you mind staying late? And they agreed. They said they'll stay late and they'll unload me. Good people everywhere, you know, help me out. So they got me unloaded and everything's closing up now. And I'm ready to head home. The other option was going to be that I was going to stay right here in Thunder Bay for the whole weekend. Right here. Unload first thing Monday morning. The rest of these on my trailer are going to Kenora. I was going to go to Kenora, unload them. Uh, Monday afternoon and quickly run over to my other place where I always pick up in Kenora grab another load head down to Minnesota And I would be home a few days after that But now because of these really nice guys here these really nice receivers who did me an amazing favor Really nice. they don't even know how uh, how much I appreciated it. I, I tried to tell them over and over how much I appreciated what they did they're so nice and uh, Because of them I get to go home now instead of sitting here alone by myself in my truck all weekend. So I won't be home tonight yet. I'll be home tomorrow, which is a Saturday. I'll be home at a good time tomorrow too. So pretty early in the day or midday. I get all day tomorrow and all day Sunday at home. And Monday, I'll hook back onto this trailer and I'll pull it to Kenora. We'll unload it in the morning Monday and then go grab that load and do our rounder to Minnesota. So I'm really happy about that. And I just want to tell you that story that I like telling you when good people do good things because you always hear about the bad stuff. That's all you hear on the news, right? It's always bad news, bad people, bad people everywhere. Everything's going bad and you know, there's nothing to look forward to, nothing to wake up for. The world is just going downhill. Well, that's not true because I keep saying that bad news sells. So when you watch the news, especially the mainstream establishment news, they're going to... Just stop watching them altogether. Stop. Stop watching CBC. Stop watching CTV, Global, CNN, MSNBC, Fox, 
all of these mainstream news outlets. You gotta stop watching them. They're filling your mind with just nonsense because they'll tell you that everything's going downhill, that the world is ending, you know, <clears throat> there's a disaster around every corner. When in reality, the truth is that good people are all around you, everywhere around you. They're just quiet. They're not out there making a big scene, drawing attention to themselves. They're just living their lives, being good people. And that's not newsworthy. That's not going to sell well, every day. Oh, look, another good person did a kind deed. You know, I'd like watching that, but unfortunately, the majority of people in this world thrive off negativity. They thrive off this terrible news cycle. I don't know why. I don't. I don't like it. So I'm here to tell you that there are good people in this world, and I'm trying to give you an alternative than all this mainstream establishment stuff, you know? I know I'm not perfect and sometimes I complain too much and sometimes I get down too. But I try to be more positive and show the good side of the world because that side of the world is a lot bigger with a lot more people. For every like negative bad person you see on the news, there's like 50 good people, maybe even more, maybe a hundred good people for every bad person. It's just the bad people, the evil people. The negative people. They're so noisy. They're so loud and obnoxious. And unfortunately, their bad behavior sells newspapers. Well, I guess we don't have newspapers anymore. They, they, they get clicks. talking to you we're forced to park out on the street beside Petro Pass and Dryden you wanna know why you wanna know why I don't know if I can zoom in far enough for you here but I'm gonna explain what's going on here you see they set up a, a traveling fair over there you see all the flashy lights behind there you see that one sec let this guy pass by he's probably frustrated too they're using the truck stop parking lot for all of the people that are at the fair. So all of the parking in the truck stop is taken up with cars and pickup trucks and fair goers. What kind of trucker hater designed this and set this all up? Well, we got kids running all over the place here. Hey, what, are you, what are they doing? They're running after a truck or something? No, no, no. Kids running all over the place. There's, it's at a truck stop, a busy one. Trucks coming in and out grabbing fuel. Trucks coming in to park for night. You got kids running all over the place between trucks, over the roads, down the street. Like it's one thing setting up a fair, like in town, I, I understand everyone wants to have a good time. Everyone wants to have fun, go on a few rides. But at a busy truck stop, and where are all the parents of all these kids? Kids are just running all around the trucks and trucks are moving around, backing up, trying to get into some, some spots. Some trucks, like I almost got jammed up in the parking lot there. I, I had to back out and try to avoid all these cars and all the cars piled in behind me and they didn't know what I was trying to do. And I'm trying to explain to them, this is a truck stop. I came in here to park. 
but it's all plugged up, so now I have to back out, and you're in my way. And then all these kids start running around, and as I'm backing up, kids are going running behind the truck and behind the trailer. I'm just, what's going on, Dryden? What's going on? There's got to be a better place where you can set up your little fair next to a truck stop. I might not have thought of this either until I saw it with my own eyes and the chaos that it's creating here. Someone's going to get run over. Someone's kid's going to get backed over. I hope not. I hope not. But there's more trucks coming in because everybody's coming off the road expecting to find parking. They're going to turn in there and you don't know the parking lot's plugged up until you get in there. And once you're in there, then all the cars are all plugged up in the back. And then you're already in the back. Now you gotta back all the way up to the front, and then by that time there's other trucks coming in behind you. Like here, look at this, look at this. there's more guys coming. See? See? More guys coming. Another guy coming. They're gonna turn in over there, right? See there's kids walking over there again, you see it? Sorry, my camera's focusing on the wrong thing here. There's kids walking around over there. Cars coming in and out everywhere. More kids walking around that truck over there. And there's the fuel pumps. And there's the parking bag there. It's supposed to be truck parking. I'm, I'm sorry if I if I seem like I'm repeating myself or... Oh, look, here comes another truck. Another couple trucks. Another one. Where are they gonna go? See, they're gonna turn in there. And they're gonna go through the pumps to the parking in the back and they're gonna realize they've all got a back out, all of them. Like, that's going back there. Yeah, yeah, see he's realizing now. He realized pretty early. He's gonna have to back out. Here he comes backwards. Hopefully no kids go running behind him. These guys come in, he's got a Super B. So if he goes back there, he's gonna have to back that Super B all the way out here. Absolute chaos. And it's that time of night when everybody's pulling in, all the truckers are pulling in to, to go to bed and grab fuel and go to bed. What an end to the day, what an end to the day, why? Why? This was an oversight. So, people in Dryden, Ontario, who plan these kinds of things. Next year, let's pick a different location. This is nuts. I'll see you all tomorrow. Stay safe, be safe, and drive safe.